Hi, this is Dr. Rebecca with Karma Healing. Today we're doing a yin, a yin, a beautiful yin yoga class with chronic stress relief. So chronic stress is held in the adrenal glands, which produces hormones. So we're going to open up the triple warmer meridian, the kidney meridian. We're also going to open up the muscles associated with the adrenal glands, which is the inner thighs and the calves. So this is where a lot of stress is stored. And the common denominator between all of this is the knees. See, everything that the adrenal muscles support are along the knees. So no wonder, no wonder with chronic stress, we tend to have knee problems. Now in the knees, emotionally, it is known to have this um, component of we want life to be different. And that's what stress is, right? We're always thinking about the future, trying to make it work, uh, trying to control things, trying to manage things out of our hands. We want things to be different. And that's what's held on in the knee. And that's what the adrenal glands, the muscles support. So we're going to go ahead, open up the kidney meridian. And the kidney meridian is right under holds up the adrenal glands, sits right on top. So that's why we work with the kidney meridian, which go alongside inside the body, along the inner thighs, which the muscles that the adrenal hold on to the inner thighs and down the calves, okay? So it goes all the way up and down here. Also the triple warmer meridian, which is here down to here, okay? Or you can go ahead and book a free consultation with me to see how you can make primary, make wellness care your primary care. Because I am sick of us buying health insurance, health insurance, aka sick insurance, and investing in our sickness. And nobody's sitting here investing in wellness insurance and in, in your health and health insurance, real health insurance as your primary source of care. So go ahead and book a free consultation with me and I will show you exactly how I am creating wellness prescriptions that will keep you well throughout all the seasons and keep you stable in all the seasons inside your health, okay? Thank you. Uh, there's gonna be a little playthrough on the entire class that you can purchase. Oh, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. All right, so we're gonna start in Vir Virdrasana. So you're going to sit on your heels. Good, if you can't do this, you could take a pillow and sit on your heels too. Yeah. Go ahead and bring our hands on the knees. And if this is uncomfortable at all, you can take a cross-legged position, it's up to you. Let's close the eyes. Yes. Close the eyes. Bring the palms down on the knees. Facing down good. Bringing the energy inward. Breathing in through the nose. Into the chest. Into the lower belly and exhale all the way out 
all the way back up the spine and out the nose again. A couple more breaths here. Becoming one with your body. Bringing the focus inside. We are training ourselves to go inward. That's where we find all the answers, all the self-love, all the peace. Good, one more big deep breath and in through the nose, bigger than you have all day. Opening up the chest, beautiful, good. And then slowly, 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 slowly release. Amazing, a little smile on your face. Good, okay. Let's take, we're gonna take the peanut, but we're gonna open up the peanut into two balls. Great. We're going to come back into this kneeling position. We're going to release the calves. So we're going to take each ball, place it underneath the knee, not right in the knee, but a little below on the calf. And then you're going to lean back and feel that pressure. Right? And you can bring your hands forward and control the pressure. We want to feel some release in the calves. Slowly moving the ball down along the entire calf. Using the hamstrings to release. Bring your hands down on the mat. Good, yes. So you can control the pressure better. Breathing into the tight areas allowing the stress to release to leave your calf. Chronic stress comes from trying to control everything around us. Too many things going on. Move it anywhere you like. We're trying to go from top to bottom. You can get the lower calf upper calf really lean into the right or the left you can find that one side's a little bit tighter than the other take a really big deep breath in and exhale that tension all the way out Letting yourself unravel, letting the stress go. You could feel it releasing from your calves. Now bring it to the lowest aspect of your calf. You can start to feel some of the blood coming into the muscle, into areas that it hasn't before. Always checking in with your breath, always breathing. If you are disconnected from your breath at any point during the class, you're doing the class wrong. It's all about breathing. Good, lean a little bit to the right and to the left. Let's go ahead and release the balls. Come into a seated position. We're gonna go ahead and release the meridian that deals with all the hormones. What you're going to do is take the back of your hand, put it on the back of your hip, and drag the elbow forward. You should feel the stretch along the front of this arm and the elbow. And now we're going to bring that right ear to right shoulder. Feeling that neck release. Now bring the chin down to the right shoulder, twisting the head. 
Take a big deep breath in and let it all go, opening up the side of the neck. Thanking yourself for giving you this time. Your body will thank you back. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. Bringing the right back of the palm on the back of our hip. Dragging the right elbow forward. Dropping the left, the left shoulder. Where are you holding on? Where can you let go a little bit more? Yes, if it hurts, we don't do it. Yeah. yeah, you do what you can if there's... Only you know the pain, a bad pain from a good pain. There you, go. you can also just release the shoulder down, just stretch the neck. Just bring the left ear towards the left shoulder. Yeah. The right shoulder holds responsibilities that we put on ourselves. The left shoulder is the responsibility that we put on, that is put on by other people. What responsibility can you take off today? And let's come straight spine, hands on the knees again. We're going to flex and extend the spine, rocking back and forth. With every exhale, we're leaning back. Hands on the knees like you're gonna fall back, but you're not going to because you're holding on. And then inhale, chest forward, chin towards the sky. Exhale, rock back. Like you're gonna fall back, but you got yourself, you got yourself good. Push the chest forward, open up. Couple more times here, really good, really good. Two more at your own pace, at your own breath. Only you know your body. I cannot tell your body what to do. I'm just a guide. You have the ultimate thing. Okay, finding a neutral position. Let's go ahead and come to tabletop. Stacking the wrists below the shoulders, the knees below the hips. Tucking the toes under. We're going to go ahead and do a couple cat cows. Come up for a cow and then tuck the hips under for cat. Good. Now, the whole point of cat cow is to align the spine with our breath. Okay? So our belly button goes down towards the mat and we fill the whole belly up with air and the chest. And then we go ahead and we tuck the tailbone under and we exhale. We control the breath and the spine. Finding your own rhythm, your own pace of breath. Let's go ahead and drop the right elbow down. And we're going to lift that left knee and make big circles with this left knee. Good. And when you find a sticky spot, a, a spot that's 
stuck, I want you to hold it there and try and get it a little higher. Really open up that hip. Good. Get to know your hip. Let's do three bigger circles, bigger, slower, and bigger. Drawing with that knee, like on a chalkboard, imaginary circles, as big as you can get them. Okay, hold that knee up high, hold it high, out to the side, like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant with the knee bent up high. Now we're going to extend that leg out and drop it down to the ground, opening up the inner thigh, planting the heel and the inner foot on the ground. We're going to rock back and forth, opening up that inner thigh. Good. Can we bring that heel out a little bit farther to stretch more in the inner thigh? Let's come back to neutral. We're going to bring our foot back behind us, tucking the toes under, and now we're gonna rock back and stretch into the calf. Pushing that heel towards the back wall, you should find the stretch in the back ankle. Now we're gonna push and hold You're gonna push into that back toe. We're gonna to bring that right knee and bring it towards the nose for a crunch and then drop it back down. No, no, good. Now bring this left foot out to the side again and we're going to open up the inner thigh. Rocking back and forth. This time, bringing the knee back down on the mat, we're gonna come down onto our chest, however you want to. And we're going to bring this left knee for a half frog. If you have a pillow to make it comfortable, we're gonna open up this left knee, bending at the knee. Good. If you have a pillow, you can put it underneath this knee. put anything underneath to get a deeper stretch as well. You want to feel that on your inner thigh. Resting your head on your palms. I want you to push that knee into the pillow or to the into the ground. Push it. Push, 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 squeezing that inner thigh, and then we're going to exhale, let it all go, releasing the knee. Where can you send your breath? With your breath, you can help release the tension in any part of your body. You have the power with your breath to recognize the stress and to let it go. Holding here for another minute.
staying in touch with that inner guru, that inner Buddha, that peaceful spot. Let's go ahead and take one of these trigger point balls and we're going to place it underneath the inner thigh. Now you could put pillows anywhere. You could use an actual foam roller as well. ball or the foam roller. You can come onto your forearms. It's up to you how much pressure. You create how much pressure you want. You want a good pain, not a bad pain. And when you find a spot that's extra sensitive, you're just going to hold it and allow it to unravel. And allow the muscle to talk to you, allow it to tell you its story, allow it to tell you its stress. A lot of the times we have mental thoughts that get stuck in certain areas, certain triggers. Allow it to all float away. can roll from the inner, all the way towards the inner hip, all the way towards the knee. I have to tell you the first time that I rolled out the inner thighs, I had a lot of little bruises on my inner thighs. A lot of things will release. So always drink water afterward. There's a lot of stress in here. If you can, you can lift the heel up to rotate deeper into that inner thigh. Let's go ahead and release the ball or release the trigger point ro foam roller. And let's go ahead and come to tabletop again. We're going to work on the other hip, dropping the left elbow down we're going to roll out the right or hip, the right hip, the right or hip. <sighs> Lubricating our joints. Right now we're, we're in for our weekly tune up at the car shop. <laughs> Lubricating these joints, right? And again, let's go slower making bigger circles with the knee, drawing on the wall with that knee. As slow as you can go, as big as you can make the circle. And wherever you find that sticky point, go ahead and hold it there. And create some space in that hip joint. You right now are sending all the lubrication, all the juicy, blood, lymphatics, everything. You are sending that motor oil to the tire <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a mechanic, right? Let's go ahead, hold it wherever you need to. We're gonna extend the heel out. I need more space, I'm gonna go like this. Yeah. Send the heel out and drop it down. On back onto both hands, we're going to rock back and forth, slowly opening up this right inner thigh. Which side was is tighter? Make a mental note. It's your responsibility to figure out where you need to stretch more. 
For me, this is my right side. My right side seems a little bit tighter. So I know that I can come back every day while the, while the commercial and know that I need to open up my inner thigh on this side. The body speaks. Let's go ahead and push that heel out a little bit further, finding a little bit deeper stretch. See if you can elongate a little bit farther. Making sure that knee is in line with the ankle. Mm -hmm. Rocking back and forth. Good, now we're going to bring the, the, the heel back, tucking the toes under. We're going to push into that right heel, opening up the calf, rocking back and forth. Like you're trying to push the gas pedal, rocking back and forth, allowing the calf to open up. Now let's push a little harder into the back of the heel. And if you want, you go ahead and stretch and do a crunch with the knee to nose. And now let's go ahead again, bring that right heel out and do another rocking back and forth. Five here. Your hips will thank you later. Okay, come back to all fours. We're gonna slowly lower our chest down to the ground however you want to. And we're going to do a half frog again, bringing that right knee out. Putting a pillow underneath the knee if you need to, or a block if you need a deeper stretch. Now we're going to push that knee into that pillow or into the ground so that we activate the muscle, get the blood rushing into the muscle, push, and then we're going to release and let it go. We, this is how we pump blood into the muscle and then we let it release. So one more time, push that knee into the ground. And then let it relax. Open up the adductors. Let them loose. Let it all go. Finding your position where it's not too, too strenuous. It's not stressing you out. And it's not too easy. We're here to take the middle path. And that's a life lesson as well, right? We don't want to be too stressed out and we don't want to make it too easy. We want the middle path. Whenever we notice the stress, we come back to center and recalibrate. Never getting too far out of balance. Sending our breath into that hip. Now let's go ahead and, and grab the foam roller or the trigger point ball. And go ahead and release these stuck areas. Rolling back and forth from inner hip towards the knee. Oh, I found a spot. And 
and then stop and hold on any of those trigger points. You will know when you find one. Let's go ahead and remove the roller or the ball, whatever you have. And now we're going to be able to get into this frog a little bit deeper after we release the muscle. Focusing on your breath, melting into the mat or into the ground, allowing the earth to stabilize you, giving it all up to the ground, to the gravity, letting it support you. You are supported. Enjoying three or four more breaths here, savoring the moment. Slowly extending the right foot back. Pressing both thighs onto the mat. Bringing your hands next to your shoulders. Pushing your hands against the ground. Bringing your hips back. Coming into child pose. Bringing the forehead down on the mat. We're going to bring your hands on your feet your feet and you're going to curl up into a nice child pose we call this fetal position this is where we are born again we're back in the womb focusing inward grabbing onto our feet Slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming up. And then coming into bound angle, bringing our soles of the feet together. And if you have a pillow, it's good to bring it right in front of you here, a pillow or a blanket, whatever you need. Yeah, and you're going to Hinge forward at the hips. Now you can always bring your feet a little bit more forward to make it a little bit easier, right? It's You can play with it. You play with it. And you're gonna focus on stretching the inner thighs right here when you fall forward. Good. Keeping the spine nice and long, trying to Drag the knees towards the ground. That's the goal. Taking a really big deep breath in. 
letting it all go. Getting a little bit deeper on the exhale. Yes, yeah, so you could use anything. I could use this and just rest my head down like that. Anything to find your comfort. Keeping the eyes closed, focusing inward. We're going to spend about another minute here. If it's ever too much, you can always bring the feet out a little bit farther forward, or you could sit on up, pushing into the hands. Find your comfortable spot, but try not to move too much. Your hips are going to thank you afterwards. I promise. About halfway through. Pushing through the hands, let's slowly roll back up into a straight neutral spine. Bring the knees together with the palms. We're going to roll onto our back. Rocking side to side, rocking the lower back on the mat. And now we're going to take our peanut. So you want to make a peanut this time. And we're going to take the peanut and we're going to put it in the middle of our back. So we push into our heels, bring the hips up, putting the peanut underneath the spine. And then as we lower down the hips, you're finding pressure along the spine. This is the bladder meridian. It's the releasing meridian. It releases everything. So you can roll back and forth your own pressure. The peanut is great because you have a bone along the spine. So you want to make sure that each side of the peanut, yeah, if it's too much, you stop. You stop, you back off, you lower the hips down. This is your class, you listen to your body. So pushing through the heels, you get to control exactly where you want the peanut to go along the body, where you need the release. You can hold it in certain areas. We're always going to get this meridian because this is where everything is released. This is the main energy channel to release the entire body. I encourage you to go all the way up and down the spine and then find one spot that you want to hold. You can lean right, you can lean, le lean left. Maybe that's in your up into your lower neck, or maybe that's near your lower back. 
You can put more pressure into the peanut by pushing harder into the heel. Focus on your breath. The breath will help you release the tension. Breathing in as deep as you can. Also crunch a little bit. This helps bring motion into the spine. Okay. When you're ready, we're going to roll to one side, release the peanut from the back whenever you want. And now we're going to come into happy baby, grabbing onto both big toes or all of the toes with your hands. Yep. We're going to put drag our knees towards the mat, bringing the heels toward the sky. We're using the strength of our arms to pull down on the feet. The goal is to get the knees down on the ground and heels parallel with the knees. And we're going to rock side to side like a happy baby. Really pull down on the, against the balls of the feet, you're going to pull, pull those knees down towards the mat opening up the inner thighs. Rocking side to side. And now let's pause at the center, trying to bring that lower back down on the ground, flattening out the spine. And one foot at a time, we're going to extend the right leg out, trying to stretch the inner thigh. Good. And you could do both, yes. Holding onto the big toes, allowing the inner thighs to release. Breathing into them. Three more breaths, extending, pushing through the heels, pushing through the heels, elongating the legs. One more breath in and exhale, slowly, slowly bring the heels back down on the mat and then bringing the knees towards the chest giving yourself a big hug on the knees and crunching up, squeezing the knees towards the chest, bringing the chin towards the knees. Squeeze, 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 squeeze the abdominals, giving yourself a big hug and then relax. Laying on your back. Taking a moment here in Shavasana, just to feel your body, feel the space that you created. Let's bring the right knee in towards the chest. Keeping that left leg elongated. 
We're going to drag the knee out towards the right. Good. Giving it a big hug. Opening up the front of the right hip, stretching the inner thigh. Kind of like the happy baby. Yeah. Trying to bring that knee towards the ground. Now bring the knee back to center. We're going to grab onto the foot, pushing through the heel, feeling the stretch into the calf as far as you can go. Good. Using one hand or both hands, trying to keep that entire spine glued to the mat. Breathing in towards the calf. Two more breaths here. Bring that left palm onto the ground, stabilizing yourself so that you can bring the right foot out. Good. Stretching the inner thigh and the calf. Trying to keep that left hip down on the ground. Two more breaths here. Where are you holding that tension? The first thing you think of is your answer. I want you to breathe into that area and let it all go. Dragging the heel back towards the sky as slow as you can, as controlled as you can. Now we're going to switch sides elongating the right leg on the mat, bringing the left knee towards the chest, giving a little crunch here, releasing the head down, opening up the knee, giving it a nice hug. You're opening up the inner thigh. Bring that left knee down towards the ground. Almost like a happy baby, yes, but squeezing the knee towards your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You should feel this in the front of your hip. Bringing the knee back to center, grabbing onto the toes, flexing the feet, slowly dragging the heel up towards the sky pushing that heel as far as it can while elongating the leg, keeping the leg, trying to get the leg straight, stretching the calf muscles. Three more breaths here. If you think about the future, if you think about the past, just let it breeze on by and come back to the present moment. That's where all the goodness is. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that heel out towards the side body, opening up. Planting the right hand down on the mat, palm facing down to help you stabilize. Bring the right hip down towards the ground, trying not to let this right hip roll up.
slowly bring that heel back towards center, controlling the leg, planting the foot down. Let's go ahead and bring our knees into the chest, both knees. We're gonna make big circles with the knees, massaging the lower back. Five times in one direction. And now let's go in the other direction. Circles with the knees, massaging the lower back. Now back and forth, massaging the spine. And if you can, roll up into a seated position. Now we're going to come into all fours and you're probably going to need some pillows to support your knees. We're going to come into a full frog pose, planting the palms down on the mat. So you're starting in table. You're slowly going to drag. Yep. Use the pillows and bend the feet, flexing both feet to protect your knee. If you want, you can drop down onto your elbows. This is a tough pose. So I got to tell you how to get out of it. To get out of it, right, is the hardest part. You're just going to fall forward onto your chest. Okay. That's your safety net. Flexing the feet, saving the knees. When we flex, flex at the ankles. It puts tension in the knees to save them. <sighs> Opening up the hips. This is so good for the sacral chakra, the root chakra. Great for balancing the hormones, releasing chronic stress. so that you can handle life in each and every moment from a state of peace. Not trying to control things. Allowing what is at every moment. Take a really big deep breath, a bigger breath that you ever had all month long. A really big deep breath into those hips. Yes, and then slowly let it all go. It's melting away. Four more breaths here. A little shaking in the muscles is good. It means it's unraveling when it's shaking. It's a good thing. Any sharp shooting pain is a bad thing. Then we back off. Shaking is good. Tension is good. It's funny how tension releases tension, right? But there's so many ironies in life. Just gotta go with the flow. Last breath, breathe it in. And then exhale, fall forward, bringing the chest down to the ground. Ooh, nice and slow. Just feeling what happened to those hips. Good. 
Good. When you're ready, push back on up to tabletop. Oh, let's do three cat cows here. Ooh, enjoying the space that we made with that peanut, right? There's a lot more space now. Inhaling with the cow, exhaling with the cat. You'll get better and better at this every time you come back to it. Let's go ahead and extend the right leg back, pushing through the heel, bringing that right knee towards that right elbow. We're gonna plant the right foot down and place it outside of our right foot. Good. Now we're going to bring that left knee back, dropping that left hip forward for a lizard low lunge. Really nice. If you want, you can bring that right hand and push open that right knee, creating space in the front of the right hip. Good. Another option is to drop down onto the left elbow. This is lunge. Two more breaths here. Let's go ahead, push through the hands, bring the knee underneath the hip. Good. Let's bring the right knee down and back into tabletop. Let's extend the left leg back, pushing through the heel. And then bringing the left knee towards the left elbow, crunching, dropping that left foot next to the left palm, dropping the right hip down, bringing the right knee back. Lizard lunge. Pushing that left palm against the left knee, opening up the left hip space. Option to drop down for the elbow if you would like. Two more breaths. Pushing into the hands, bringing the right knee underneath the right hip joint, bringing that left knee back down for tabletop. Three cat cows, we're gonna do that all again. At your own pace, at your own breath. Let's go ahead and extend the right leg back again. And then bring the right knee towards the right shoulder, dropping down the foot. Good. Pushing that left knee back. Finding space in the hips. Bringing that right foot out as far as you can to the right. We're trying to create extra space. You can always drop down to your elbows. If it's ever too much for your knee, you could put a pillow underneath your knee. And let's go ahead, push through the hands, bringing that knee back under the hip, placing the other knee back down, tabletop, and extend the left leg back. Bringing the left knee towards the shoulder, crunching the abs, planting the foot down next to the hand. Again, bringing that right knee back, stretching the hips. And this is your level, your class. Lots of things get held in the hips. It's an easy place for old emotions, old thoughts, but so much tension. So give your time to detox the next couple of days. Drink lots of water. Let the stress go, because these are the stress muscles. So there might be some stressful thoughts that might purge out with it. Okay, 
pushing into the hand, bringing that knee underneath the hip, coming back into tabletop. We're going to go ahead and find a wide angle pose. So we're going to open up. So finding the thick bones, bring the palms of the hands and go ahead and sit on the bony prominences and really just find, just find that, find awareness, okay? Now we're going to take our finger pads, we're gonna find our sternum right here. Yeah, right where you're going to find this little dip here, like this, right in the sternum. And then you're going to see the collar, right? So pull up right there. So we're going to find the center of that chest where it dips. Go one inch out, and we're going to massage along these lip ribs right here. Massage it all the way down. Good. And then we're gonna massage all the way the inner thighs, finding any tender spots along the way. This is where all the chronic stress will be really. This is where the adrenal glands send all the hormones. So all these hormones, stress hormones are stuck along this line. So you're gonna go all the way towards the inner, inner foot as well and massage your feet. You're detoxing your inner glands right now. And we're gonna come all the way back up, slowly. So you're not massaging the bone, you're actually massaging the the meaty part of the muscle. So whenever you find a bone, try and push into more of a muscle even. I know my tender spots are kind of like right here, the meaty part right here, like the inner thigh. Coming back up again, along the inner chest. Bring our hands on our thighs and just breathe with the movement that just happened, really just letting it all soak in. Measuring how you feel from the start of class. Feeling the difference. Let's go ahead, bring the feet together. We're going to forward fold, trying to keep the spine straight at first, and we're going to hinge at the hips, stretching the back of the thigh from the calf. You can bend at the spine if you want and fold, that's up to you. But I'm really, really focusing on the calf. Now also, if you have a pillow, Go ahead and put a pillow right here. And it'll just allow you to melt and relax. Yeah. Yeah. Not like you'll actually fall asleep here or anything. I'm going to spend five more breaths here.
Good, let's take a really big deep breath in, last breath. And exhale, fold a little bit deeper, just a little bit more, with a little bit more tension before we back off. Okay, slowly roll up. Rolling all the way down into corpse pose on your back. We're gonna spend about five minutes here soaking in all the good vibes, just really bathing in everything that we created in this class. Get finding a blanket if you need to, to cover up. This is where we actually, this is the transition of bringing yoga back into our lives. This is where we make the intention to take the space that we created, this loving space with our body. This is where we actually transition into the real world and hold on to what we created making that intention to stay with this inner peace as long as we possibly can. Allowing the mind to melt away Whenever anything pops up, you give it a loving embrace and you let it go. Your thoughts are your friends whenever you want them to be. Allowing your back to mix, to melt with the mat, melt into the ground. Allow the feet to splay open and relax. Losing yourself in the sensations of your body, feeling the space that you just created. Everything that just detoxed from your body is gone. There's so much more room for love, for creativity, for playfulness, for all the blessings that live in each moment. You created that space. You showed up to the mat. You showed yourself love. Thank your body. Thank yourself. Thank yourself utmost for carving out the time for yourself. And feel that thankfulness throughout your entire body.
Let's slowly roll onto one side of our body into a sleeping position. Whatever side is most comfortable for you. And let's push up whenever you're ready. You're going to bring that palm on the ground and you're going to push yourself up nice and slowly. Coming into a seated position. Bringing your hands on the knees. In a neutral spine, keeping the eyes closed. Savoring the last couple of breaths that we have here. Let's go ahead and bring our palms to our heart center, to our chest. Giving ourselves a little bow, a little thank you. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. It is such a pleasure. Okay.